Hi guys and welcome back to Extreme Garage with me, Lawrence. Today, I'm actually in work for a change, rather than being outside or up against the shutter. I've decided to go and stick the stickers on the sides of the fire engine and do the little, the little name plaque that goes on the side of the driver's side and the passenger side doors. So I'm doing that today. I've got my Perspex, some black Perspex. Because I do a lot of printing for a living, either on t-shirts or onto vinyl and things like that, I'm going to print my name plaques first, and then while that's drying, we can cut that down to the right size. So if I just set this up, two copies of that. Press, oh, change the quality. Just print it, because then we'll cut it out once it's dry. So while the printer's sorting itself out, getting ready to print, the other day I printed off the side shield emblems. I've already took away the excess vinyl from around it, so they're ready to stick straight on. So tell me what you think of that. I thought that'd be a bit different. So I got one for both sides. So I'll put that on in a minute once I've finished doing this. So normally on the on the doors we have your little black plaque. If I'm right, the words inside those plaques are normally for the station that you're from. So when you're on a call out, if there's plenty of fire engines around, at least when you're going back to, you know which engine you're going back to and you're going back to the right one, otherwise you're going to go to a different town or something. So for me, I thought it'd be more suiting to have my name on. Uh, so obviously I've got the black Perspex now. I've done this in black just to hide it because it was a lot easier to print the black rather than cutting out each of the letters and sticking them all on. I'll be here forever doing that. So if I cut this down to size now, it should just slide straight in with that sticker straight across the front of it. So while that's drying, because we have to leave that to dry now for, for a little bit, I'll, uh, we'll go and cut this. Right, so I'll pull that in a bit more light now. See where we're going. So, the plaque would go in here, so it would slide in there. Oops. Just like that, so we've got to cut it off to there. We'll do the same for the other side. And then we're going to stick our emblem right here. So if I just go and grab that. So this is our shield that we're going to put up on the side there. So that's where we're going to go with that one, which I think it's going to look pretty cool. So we'll cut this. We'll measure it first, then we'll cut it. So we're going to want to do, thinking spider web. Uh, what's that? 78 mil. Let's go out right to the edge and see. We don't want it sticking out at all. We want it nice. And, I don't know. Would you mind? Probably sticking out a little bit, couldn't you? What do you reckon? 78 mil. Should we go 78 mil? 78 mil. Give and take for a... Uh... So, 78. Oh, the blunt is sharpie. Oh dear. We'll do 78 here, then we'll do a line across, oh, it's a pen. okay, happy days. So we're going to cut that across there and then this will be our piece. All right, I've got to set this to cut out now, so I'm going to cut rectangles out for my piece of perspex that I've got. So, we'll take that off. Nice. It's actually quite nice like that piece. Where's the bin gone? Where's the bin here? So, set up the cut lines. Press cut. And off it goes. So while that's cutting out and drying a bit more, uh, let's stick the side one on. So, 
because it's been outside now for a few days I'm going to first just, I haven't got any proper solution because I don't do signs I've never applied a sign to anything before so this will be a new one for me so I've got an alcohol wipe we'll use that first just to clean the area up we're going to go exactly on the right area there where the last one is I don't know if you can see that underneath slightly so that's nice and clean I've got me squeegee and I got me sticker so here's first to go the good thing is if I stuff it up I can always go and print another one so I think first we do the top half so let's have a look nearly right so I'm not saying this is the right way to apply a sticker but this is the way I'm going to have a go at doing it so I'm going to go Yeah, but that, that's the one in the middle. So I was going to go in the middle. Go there. Okay. So I'm going to apply that down just just briefly, just to see if we've got the right. Does that look straight? Yeah, that looks straight to me. Okay. And then I'm going to peel this down as I'm squeegeeing down. Now, hopefully, it all goes on pretty level. My cut lines could have been a bit better on that, but as far as it adds to the. Blinking ripped it. Okay. Let's see if we can salvage that. I don't think anyone noticed. Oh no. Right. This area I've stuffed up. I might have to redo that one of the days. Well, I would say that looks pretty damn cool. <laughs> I quite like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, see if that's dried now. So it's just cutting the uh, the two drawings off. There we go. So what we need to do now is get that onto there. We've over, I've overdone it, the size, so I can at least cut off the edge afterwards, or I can just use a pair of scissors or a knife. Probably a knife. So we'll clean this one again. Not again, because we haven't done it yet. So we'll clean this one. Use our jagged edge as the uh, down. We'll use that in a bit. <coughs> All right. So. If you're wondering what this machine does, it prints onto all sorts of materials, vinyl, canvas, 
anything and it's got a little cutter on it so after it's printed it it'll cut out any shapes you want just like just like that so we'll try and fix this slap bang in the middle well okay okay oh uh, no right yeah i don't i don't do stickers stickers aren't my friend to just fold that over just to protect it no it's cut it off with a knife we need a knife oh you might not have seen it i printed that out the other day so we'll do it that way Just proper sticky. Go and try this out for size. So I've got my plaque now. God, it's cold out here tonight. So we'll slide that in. Bend that in a bit. There we go. <laughs> so when I'm out and about, I know which fire engine's mine now. <laughs> I'll quickly go and do the other two now, and then I'll show you a full round round view. I know it's a bit dark, but it's all I've got at the moment. So I've just done both sides of the fire engine, but I forgot I printed something else extra. Just that little touch, little extra touch now. Anyone on the helmet. Somehow we managed to crack the helmet here, the visor. I don't know how we've done it, but we've done it. So I had a little one I printed out the other day, which which we're gonna fix. Should be a little bit bigger, but Ah, uh, a bit wonky. Oh. There we go. It's a nice, nice, nice little touch. So, that's that done. Fire engine's done. So, I'll show you around it. And then, uh, while it's dark, we can always put the lights on again, can't we? Have a look, see how it looks with lights on this time. Yeah. So that side's done now, and this side's done. This side looks a lot better this time. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go and subscribe. And I'll leave you with a little, uh, little bit of this.
My truck. <laughs>